Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Kevin Geary. Today we are in the learningtolight.com dungeon and I'm going to show you how to get your flash off camera onto a light stand with a modifier and get shooting because when I was a beginner this is one of the things that kind of miffed me you know I was like oh I see it but how does all that stuff fit together and what all do I need so that's what I'm going to show you on today's video all right so you've decided you want to get your light off camera excellent move because when you have your flash on camera, you're really limited as to what you can produce. I mean, you can bounce the light and, and make some flattering pictures, but you're limited as to the range of your creativity. And you definitely don't want to point that flash right at the person when it's on camera. It's not going to be flattering light at all. So first question we have to answer, how do we get the light off camera? What do we put it on? How do we put it on there? And how do you get a modifier on it? All those questions are about to be answered. The first thing, is a light stand. That's the first thing we're going to use. This is a cheap Westcott light stand. It's for indoor use. Don't take these things outdoors. They, they don't work very well. The wind will blow them down. So if you're going outside, I've got a recommendation in a blog post that I wrote, which I'll link to, uh, for what to use instead. But this is perfect for indoors, perfect for speed light use. It's great. Look, it's kind of compact. It's small. So the first thing I'm going to do all right, let me just go through all this stuff first. Then I'll show you how to put it all together. How about that? So the next thing we need is an S mount. I, I made a whole video about why I switched from umbrella adapters to S mounts. You should definitely go check that out. These hold the light much more securely. They're easier. There's a lot of benefits, but that's what we need next. Third thing we need is our speed light. Yeah, you gotta have some light if you're gonna light people. So this is an uh, LumaPro LP180R. I made a video on why I switched all my speed lights over to LP180Rs. Very good reasons for doing that. So if you wanna follow in my footsteps, I've got all the links to this stuff in the description and at our site, learningtolight.com. Next thing, let me get the camera out of the way. Next thing you're gonna need is a modifier. Uh, this is a basic umbrella. It's a shoot-through umbrella, so it's white, it's translucent. The flash shoots right through it. It makes the light bigger and thus softer. So this is a great modifier for beginners. It's excellent for travel. Look how small that thing is. And it produces beautiful light. There's some downfalls to it, but if you're just starting out, this is perfect. And they're really, really cheap. Next thing we need, obviously, is a camera. Hard to take pictures without a camera. And then on top, what you're gonna notice is a trigger. This is the, what tells the flash to fire. Now what you'll notice is I don't have a receiver. Why don't I have a receiver? It is built in to the LumaPro LP180R. If you don't have a speed light with a built-in receiver, then you're gonna need a receiver to attach to the speed light. That would be one extra step for you and one extra piece of equipment for you to keep track of, right? But anyway, the receivers usually fit onto the hot shoe right here, or there's a sync cord, so you can just sync them up with a uh, cord that's kind of the old school way to do it. Now, what's great is that the trigger here, the one I'm using, the Photix Odin, is able to control my flash, flash power and all that from the trigger. So once I have my light set up, there's no other messing with it uh, except for where it's positioned or how high it is, right? I can control the power right from the Photix Odin. So that's another bonus. Okay, so let's say uh, here I am, I wanna get all this stuff set up. I wanna do a one light portrait. How does it all work? First thing I need to do, I need to get my light stand set up. So I'm gonna turn that little knob I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna set it on the ground, push it down a little bit, and that's gonna make sure that the feet are spread out properly. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend one of the risers. And <clears throat> generally when you are lighting someone, you want the light to be above them. But for the purposes of just this demonstration, I'm gonna leave it right there to make assembly really easy for you, for you guys to see. Next thing. Speed light and bracket. So this S mount can go on first, then you can insert the speed light. Or what I like to do, I like to insert the speed light first and then tighten it down. And that's how these S brackets work. They clamp onto the head of your speed light. So that is perfect. It's really secure. Now I'm gonna put it on the stand and 
tighten it down. There's just a little knob here. I'll turn that guy so you guys can see. Just a little knob on the side for loosening and tightening. Very, very simple. There's also a ratchet right here. This allows you to uh, change the angle. You can hear it clicking of the speed light. I'm gonna actually straighten it up for you guys a little bit, and then that'll make it easier to put the umbrella in. So the next thing we do is we grab our modifier. Now I like this umbrella because it's a compact umbrella, also made by Westcott. Notice it extends out, but if you're traveling, this makes it really easy. Some umbrellas don't collapse like that, and that you have that long, uh, the long rod that you have to just take with you and figure out what to do with it. All right, I'm gonna open it and get it to click into place, and then I'm gonna bring it around. There is a little hole right here on the front of the S mount, and I'm gonna slide this in, and there's a little knob for adjusting the tension on the side here. Now, beginner mistake. See this? Beginners tighten that down there, and you see all that space in between. This is uh, not a great way to do it. So what I want you to do is I want you to push this in a little further, and then tighten it up. Kind of almost to where this is starting to align with the edge of your umbrella. Now, this is all ready to go, guys. I turn this flash on, I point it at the subject, I get the camera, I can adjust my flash power as I said, I can raise this, position it wherever I want, and I'm shooting pictures. That's as simple as it gets. You have your stand, you have your S bracket, with your speed light in it, and you have your modifier, and you have your trigger on the camera. And again, if you don't have a, a speed light with a receiver built in, you would have a receiver right here on the hot shoe, or a receiver dangling, or bungee corded to this with a sync cord that goes into the side of the speed light. That is it. Again, beginners really trip over a lot of this stuff. I wanted to demystify it for you. If you want more of our videos, definitely subscribe to this channel and check out what we're doing at Learning to Light. Com. We have a lot of articles, tutorials, assignments, groups, all sorts of great stuff for you to teach you how to light in layman's terms. We'll be back soon with another video. Have a great day.